Campania, or as the Romans used to call it, Campania Felix, is one of the birthplaces of European viticulture. Here, in the central part of Campania, close to the Avellino town, eight small towns situated between 400 meters altitude and 800 meters altitude design a sort of amphitheater hosting one of the smallest and probably most charming white wine appellation of Italy, the Greco di Tufo DOCG. Greco is a varietal coming from Greece, as the name clearly demonstrates, and was already mentioned by Plinius the Old in his textbooks in the first century after Jesus Christ. And uh, Plinius used to say that Greco was uh, such a precious wine that could be only served once in the big festivities. A rare and extremely precious wine, coming from a very delicate varietal that becomes quite powerful thanks to the specific characteristics of this terroir, the soils and the climate. A delicate varietal with small berry, with a very, very thin skin that very easily gets darker and can get sick. This is why it's important to protect this grape. This is why the leaves in the traditional cultivation methods still present in the area, the leaves were covering the grape in a similar system to what the pergola was. In particular, it was called here Raggera because the different branches were living, creating rays around the central point and the vines were growing up almost on the trees at almost two meters. This was a way to protect, you know, the grape thanks to the leaves and also protect the grape from the humidity coming up from the soil. This typical cultivation method is still used by many small farmers that are still active in the area. But what is most surprising is not just these ancestral viticultural systems that you can still see, but it's the specific characteristics of the soil, not only per se, but the variety of the soils in such a small appellation. You start from an area where the most common soils are Cacarius in the Chianche town, then you go in the central part of the amphitheater, the two towns of Santa Paulina and Tufo, which is probably the most renowned area of the appellation, where the soils are characterized by the presence of mineral and even the sulfurous mines that are under the level of the soil. And then you close the amphitheater in the Montefusco town, above 800 meters altitude, where you find mostly soils characterized by limestone. This variety, this richness, is one of the key characteristics of Greco di Tufo. And then there is the rain, over 1300 millimeters of rain yearly, falling in over 150 days of rain per year, and contributing to the incredible freshness of this wine. Freshness and minerality, typical characteristics of northern white wines, continental white wines, that you don't expect at these latitudes. Similarly, Greco is unusual also for another aspect. It's a white wine that is more expressive in the mouth and the aftertaste than in the nose. At Ferdi di San Gregorio we are very lucky. We can work on over 200 vineyards, some of them very, very small and we can continue doing research in partnership with research institute and university around a project called Feudi Studi. Protecting and enhancing the value of this varietal and the beauty of this terroir and the richness of the community of farmers that still work this varietal with the traditional systems is one of the core mission of our benefit corporation strategy and on our purpose as a B Corp. Cudizzi in Santa Paulina town is one of the most expressive vineyards of the Greco di Tufo appellation. It's a vineyard where, you know, the soils differ significantly from a subzone to another. And it's the origin of an incredible wine called Cudizzi as well. A wine that has an incredible freshness and a great longevity. If you move a few kilometers from Cudizzi, you find another wonderful vineyard in Nassano, a small town between Tufo and Santa Paulina. Here we produce a wine called Goleto and the aging is different from Cutizzi. It's made in Amphora and in Tonneau, but both wines enjoy an incredible longevity and express the potential of excellence of this varietal. And then if you go up on the hills at 800 meters near Montefusco in the highest part of the Appalachian, here we source, you know, the grapes for our double, the Metodo Classico, the Champenoise method that we made out of Greco. We produce other two wines, the classic Greco di Tufo and the Lucid Sud Greco di Tufo, that are a selection of the most beautiful and the better exposed vineyards 
of the whole appellation. For us at Ferdi di San Gregorio, Greco di Tufo is one of the best white wines around the world. And our mission is to communicate its excellence through different wines and different expressions.